One image, one idea, a one-minute AI video. Hey, Nova here. Seriously, those viral shorts you've seen, just one prompt makes them. I'm usually all about the hard work, so this is way more Mila's thing. But trust me, this is different. You've got to see it. Okay, so what is Polo AI? It's a platform that lets you create videos and images in seconds, and it's powerful because it uses all the latest models, like Sora 2, VO3, Kling, and more. But the reason for this video, and what's really exciting, is a fantastic new feature they just added called AI Shorts. Now let's see how it works. All right, first things first, let's generate our starting image. In the main interface, you've got a ton of models to choose from. Mid-journey, stable diffusion, plus a user creations feed for inspiration. I'm diving straight into text-to-image. For this style, I'm going with the Nano Banana model. Now, I'll just paste in our prompt for the blue-haired girl. Set the aspect ratio and hit generate. And there we go. Look at that, just beautiful. Our asset is ready to be animated. Okay, so here's the brand new feature, AI Shorts. You can see the interface is super clean and simple. Here, you get three themes to start with, anime, soothing, and animal. You already know we're starting with anime. First step, you gotta pick your starting image. I'm using this shot of a girl with her cat but you can literally upload your own selfie or any other AI image you've made. Now, we just type in our main idea. And don't worry, I'll show you the secret sauce for writing the best prompts a little later in the video. And for music, the AI can pick a track for you. You can browse their library. Or, and this is a huge plus, you can upload your own. Seriously awesome. For this first run, let's keep it simple. We'll go with auto music. You can set each shot to be up to six seconds long, and you can create up to 10 shots in total. You know what that means? Yep, a full one minute video. All right, let's see what it came up with. Okay. See how easy that was? You can take this result and upscale it, add custom sound effects, or even change the entire style using the video-to-video -video feature. 
For now, let's quickly upscale this to 4K. You get five different modes to choose from, depending on if you want to sharpen the image, denoise it, or specifically refine facial features. Let's talk about how to write the perfect prompt. Trust me, I'm about to save you a lot of time and credits. I already wasted mine trying everything from simple keywords to long detailed paragraphs. And they were both wrong. Finally, I discovered the secret. The best method is to write one single prompt that reads like a storyboard. Just a sequence of simple, clear actions separated by commas. This is the exact prompt I used. It looks long, but it's not one complicated description. It's a chain of simple scenes. All right, next up is the soothing theme. For this, I'm using a new image of our girl with a friend and a prompt full of warm, gentle moments. It's the same storyboard method as before. One long prompt with a chain of simple scenes like laugh under an umbrella in the rain and watch the sunset at a peaceful lake. I'll just paste the full story in, set it to 10 shots and let the AI do the rest. It automatically adds calm music and smooth transitions to create that perfect relaxing vibe. All right, it's ready. Let's see how it turned out. And finally, the animal theme. And for this one, the cuteness level is off the charts. We're using this image of an adorable black and white cat and her unlikely best friend, a little bird. The storyboard prompt is full of cute moments, like chasing each other in the kitchen and cuddling under the moonlight. Let's see the final result. Okay, that was super cute. But look closer. See how the AI didn't just animate the story? It perfectly copied the art style from the original image. That painterly look is consistent through the whole video. That's what makes this so powerful. All right, with Halloween just around the corner, I have to show you something extra spooky they've just added. Okay, first, you're going to click on Fun Effects. You can see a ton of cool options in here, like the viral art and dancing effects. But we're here for something seasonal. Let's head into the Halloween Special Effects tab. And wow, look at all these options they have for Halloween. You can pick anyone you like, but the one I have to try is this Burton Haunting Doll effect. The process is super simple. You just upload your image, and you can either pick a new aspect ratio or just stick with the original size. And the best part? This one is completely free to use. All right, let's see what kind of spooky magic it creates. So that's a wrap on Polo AI. I'm genuinely curious to see what you create with it. So let me know in the comments. What's the first AI video you're going to make? If this video was helpful, a like and subscribe would be amazing. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.